I uh, had my hand amputated in a motorcycle as regards to a motorcycle accident in August of 07. Um, I uh, was a very active person as a roofer, rode motorcycles all over the country and I uh, enjoyed it very much, very active and uh, since my amputation and the introduc introduction into having this eye limb uh, hand, um, it's helping me uh, get back and uh, function. It allows me to pull an emergency brake in a car. I can open car doors. It assists me in getting dressed. Uh, there are a few things that I'm, it's a learning process. I'm uh, one of the first people to have one of these in, in the world. and. Uh, it's an ongoing learning experience. First of all, not having a hand and what you're used to be able to do. It basically, you know, it's, it's a trial and error thing. I'm constantly learning. The hand actually works. It's powered by this battery and this two humps here are sensors that are operated off movements from my hand. And basically, if you would consider turning your hand in, that would be the closing and when you would put your hand out the muscles that would be the opening and that basically controls it by me moving the muscles in my forearm okay for me it, it's been a major emotional uh, difficulty being faced with my life changing and not being able to do those things it's been a uh, very uh, difficult. It's a trying experience dealing with insurance companies, day-to-day -day situations from putting toothpaste on a toothbrush, combing my hair and trying to put my hair in a ponytail, buttoning my pants, you know, putting on shoes. I can't tie things. Fortunately, I'm hoping with this I'll learn how to tie, but it's, a, it's an ongoing battle every day. I've had a ponytail all my life. If I could put my hair in a ponytail without having to ask someone today, that would be a major uh, step forward, you know? And some people take that for granted, you know? And I refuse to cut my hair. It's like I say, I, I've learned to live right in the here and the now, I say, I call it. And I don't put a lot of expectations and I'm not, I don't have any failures. But that's not to say that I don't keep trying to get, to get back what I had. I'll never have a hand, and this will never be a real hand, but it's the closest thing I have right now, and uh, I, uh, I've got, all, I've got uh, all the confidence that sooner or later I'll be able to pretty much do everything I ever could do before.